Good morning, KOCO 5 News at 9 a.m. continues. I'm Abigail Ogle here in Elk City as we continue to follow the, the aftermath, the damage and destruction caused by the deadly tornado that moved through yesterday evening. We are joined now by the Insurance Commissioner John Doak. I want to thank you for being here with us and, and tell me why it was important for you to, to be here on the ground. Right, absolutely. No, we were here early this morning. We saw some of the devastation last night. We had the reports. And one of the things, the lessons learned from around the state of Oklahoma, from Moore, from Atoka, from the many areas Owasso just recently last week is when the insurance department shows up we know that in the morning this morning many folks will be looking contractors will be coming into the area but first and foremost consumers will that have never had a loss like this we're gonna have a lot of questions like the couple that I just talked to a minute ago they've lived in this area they've never had a loss there this is their first major loss um, they may need medications they may need okay. health insurance they may need some issues there but also they need to understand how they can get that claims process started and there's going to be great claims uh, folks coming in from uh, our insurance companies from around the state here this morning that will be able to assist them with, uh, you know, getting clothes, getting a place to stay, making sure their dogs and animals and horses are taken care of, which is very, very important to Oklahomans. Uh, so we know that that aspect is we're going to get those issues taken care of with maybe uh, the director, uh, Secretary Reese, has, has made some comments he would help. But again, that, that claims process, and we don't want them to be taken advantage of by contractors or folks coming into the area thinking there's a disaster here and I can take advantage of them. Unfortunately, you and I both know that around Oklahoma that happens on a consistent basis. And one of the messages by having our anti-fraud unit here and our consumer services folks is that we can answer some of those questions and help get that claims process started smoothly. You hate it, but it's something we have to talk about because it does happen. Every severe weather event, it seems we talk about fraud and we talk about these scammers coming you know, to take advantage. It's, it's true. I do want to ask you about time because when I'm talking to these people, they're just trying to find clothes right. or trying to salvage what, what can be salvaged exactly. from their homes. They're not worried about insurance right now. Right. Would you say insurance should actually go first or would you say, yeah, you can wait a couple weeks? What well, should be the timing well, there? Well, I think one of the things is that uh, hopefully, you know, we've tried to get the word out around the state of Oklahoma over the past few years to do home inventory. So you have pictures. Everybody has cell phones now, almost everyone, let's mm -hmm. say, is take pictures of the inside of your home. Some of these folks here are inside taking pictures because you're not going to be able to remove anything. That debris removal process is going to be uh, really a difficult one. Right. But again, you want to make sure that you have things well documented. Um, this is why we've got a home inventory through the NAIC, and it's out on our website for Oklahomans. Now's a good time to be thinking about that. You know, pictures are worth a lot of money when it comes to a cl an insurance claim to know uh, what all you had in that room because it's hard to recreate it after it looks like something like this. So again, we want to make sure that they're just taking care of them the person this morning, getting the food, getting the, the place to live, getting those basic necessities, the medications uh, that they need, uh, and then the rest of this uh, can take care of itself in a, in a really a process-oriented way. But again, we're, we're, we're sad about the, uh, the loss of life that was here last night. I understand it was someone in their car, which again, um, you know, we've got home insurance, automobile insurance, commercial insurance, uh, business interruption insurance. Uh, this, these types of issues uh, and, and disasters really have an insurance theme to them once they're done and we want to make sure that uh, consumers and business owners understand what they can do and how to make this process easier for them so that's really our main goal is to be here to be of assistance uh, on the front end to avoid some of the issues on the back end unfortunately we know one one guy who was here does not have insurance right. Does that mean he's out of luck? Uh, what happens with that? Well, the gr great question. And we know that in the state of Oklahoma, we have we have this issue, uh, again, uninsured yeah. folks. And the really, the faith-based community comes together. The Red Cross comes together. And I know that uh, in Elk City, they will have uh, those great folks uh, arrive from around the state. Uh, and those coalitions will come together. Uh, and they will begin to offer assistance. Um, and the state of Oklahoma will offer their assistance uh, when it's deemed necessary. But again, uh, I think that they will see um, many, many folks uh, arrive to help. Uh, and then basically the faith-based and the nonprofits will probably be of assistance in that uninsured uh, situation, which we know there will be some. Yeah, it, 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 it happens. And, but someone usually steps in to help. Insurance Commissioner John Doak, thank you. And like you said, those anti-fraud units will be out and touring this area, helping people as they kind of start to piece these, uh, put the pieces back together 
together and, and rebuild. Also, I'm glad you mentioned taking pictures because as meteorologist Brad Souter will tell you, we are tracking the risk for more severe weather. Maybe a good day to, to snap some photos in case something like this happens at your house.